such a gloomy Monday today. It's like typical London weather. It makes me actually a little bit excited to start prepping for the new school year, not gonna lie. University starts in two weeks for me, so I'm in desperate need of actually like getting mentally and physically back into um, university mode. This year is gonna be rough. It's my final year. Speaking of getting back to university, today's sponsor is Grammarly, a must have for all university students out there. Grammarly is a digital writing assistant that improves your productivity and helps you save time when you have multiple assignments to complete. It is also free to download and easy to integrate into your life as it is a browser extension. It works on Google Docs, Gmail, LinkedIn, Facebook, whatever you want to use it for. We'll talk more about Grammarly later as it is one of my favorite tools to use as a student. But now let's get into the video. So this video is going to be a little bit different than more of my vlog style videos. I'm gonna take you guys through a checklist of everything that I'm doing to get back both physically and mentally for the new school year. So follow along, note things down if you're keen on doing this yourself and yeah, let's get started. <laughs> The first thing I'm doing to get back into university mode is resetting my internal clock. It is early, but I am awake. I actually woke up 10 minutes before the alarm. Super happy about that. Um, I think it was because I went to bed super early yesterday. Okay, I'm gonna go shower and then we're gonna wake Papa up. My desk hasn't actually been used for like three months. So I was in desperate need of just getting a little bit of a clean out, getting dusted. <laughs> you should see the dust on my desk. It's very evident that I haven't used it in four months because I haven't been doing any work there. I also had these folders with all my notes from previous semesters. So I went ahead and emptied the notes out so that they are fresh and ready for my new notes from this semester. There is a lot of digital tools for university out there, both for your phone, your tablet, and your laptop. So here are some of my favorite ones you might want to download for this new school year. Notion is the digital workspace where I keep most of my university calendars. I have weekly task lists. I have all my module pages. There's a lot on there. Google Docs is where I keep all of my assignments, my tutorial work, group works. Planty helps you study through the Pomodoro study method. And GoodNotes is where I've been experimenting with note-taking on my tablet. Lastly, a must-have tool for university that I use is Grammarly. It is an all-in-one writing tool that helps me succeed by improving my productivity and saving me time when completing assignments. I've used Grammarly on every single essay and assignment that I produce throughout university. And I've become so reluctant on it, I don't think I could function property without it anymore. Grammarly has tons of features, but here are my favorite free Grammarly features to help me succeed in university and work more effectively. When I'm writing essays and assignments in Google Docs, I can save time and make sure that I get the right message across by using Grammarly's setting goal feature. This basically ensures that I'm writing to the right audience. I also love Grammarly Editor's free word count feature. It saves me a lot of time because it tells me exactly when I've hit my paper's length requirements. It is so easy to forget. I just get lost in your own words and your own formulations. So it's good to have it right there on the side. And last but not least, instead of using multiple websites to find synonyms, Grammarly's free synonym feature allows me to replace overused words while I'm writing. You know it, I definitely know it. University season is right around the corner, so make sure you're prepared for the new academic year with digital tools like Grammarly. Go to grammarly.com slash to sign up for a free account to Grammarly, and if you'd like to get extra features, upgrade to Grammarly Premium for 20% off to help you save time and be more productive. Now next on my task list is setting academic goals. Let's go. Every new year, I write on my New Year's resolution list academic goals and personal goals and work goals, but I haven't really done a academic goals in the beginning of the year, but I always benefit a lot from setting down my expectations and the goals I have for myself in the new year. So I thought I'd do it for this semester as well. So I'm just going to write down some of the goals that I set for myself and I'm doing it in category. I think we often forget about this when thinking about university, but it isn't necessarily just about the academic things that you do. There's other stuff as well, like meeting friends and networking, seeing new people, learning from other people and also making sure that you're thinking about your mental health as well in all of it and also taking care of your body by exercising. So I've written up three categories. We have academic, social and health. And then under here, I'm going to write some of my goals. And then under each goal, I'm going to write in my little strategy for achieving that goal. with how the 
first looks, I put down the main goal and then like ways I would achieve it. And I always wrote at least two so that I have like two ways of achieving each goal. One thing to note is that I'm not setting mark or grade goals. Last semester I kind of realized that a mark isn't entirely up to you as a student. It is also up to the professor who grades it. They may be having a bad day and it's up to like the bell curve that they desire, you know. Obviously I want to graduate from uni with a overall average that I am happy with. I'm not setting this number goal for myself to achieve because if I don't hit it, I'll be devastated and disappointed. So there's no point of doing that. I'm just gonna try to work my hardest and then be happy with whatever comes out of it because in the end, it's not just up to me. It's about a lot of different facts as well. Okay, I got dressed in the appropriate outfit and now I'm going to go to school. I brought my massive bag because we are going to go to uni for the first time to study in a long time. Well, study, mm, not so much. We're gonna be preparing for the new school year. It can be really, really challenging to go from summer to suddenly having to stay in the library for eight to nine hours every day. Here we are. So get used to this again. Today, I will be spending three to four hours in the library. Okay, so I just realized the room that I really wanted to sit in and study is a quiet room. And so I can't really talk there. And so I'm gonna have to do this part voiceover, but I am doing everything in the study room. So yeah, let's do a little voiceover because I could not for the life of me talk there. It was way, way, way too quiet. <laughs> So while I was at the library, I thought what better time to get my digital workspace ready. So first, my Notion setup. All the colorful pages you see here are my module pages from last semester and here is how one of them look. So we're going to be duplicating this and using it as a template and then we're going to be moving all the other ones to the folder called year two. Now I'm going to be renaming it to one of the modules that I have this year and then I'm going to customize it to fit the theme of this module. I chose purple. I'm gonna be duplicating this template for every other module page and customizing it with colors and pictures that fit that module. And that's it for the Notion setup. Next is my Google Drive setup. As you can see, there's a little bit of a mess here. So we're just gonna create a folder for year two. And now I'm gonna create a new folder for this semester. And inside this folder, I'm adding in more folders for all the different modules that I'm gonna have this year. And that's it for my digital setup ordered all my books this year secondhand, so they're a little bit cheaper, but still in really good condition. Now that I have the core textbooks that I need, I thought I just might as well start reading for the first week of uni. So here I am organizing my reading and my notes in my recently redone Notion setup. It's so easy to fall behind, so if you're a week up front, you won't forget what you've read because it's still fresh in your mind, but you're still giving yourself a little bit of freedom to slack off a day or fall behind another day. back home and I just got my timetable so I'm going to be going to my Google Calendar and my Notion weekly task and I'm just going to add in the time that I'm going to have all my tutorials and for what module that is. I also just noticed that all my modules are up on my university's like web page basically. I'm gonna go ahead and just sort out all the modules that I had last year and then start the modules that I have this year so that they appear on the front of my page every time I log into my university page. And then I'm gonna check out what we're gonna be learning this year. I'm super excited. my to-do list before I start university is getting motivated. There's a few ways you can do this. For example, I'm very motivated by just having a long summer, having a long break. But you know, you're watching this, you have a different three summer. How can you get motivated if you're not motivated already? First, you can watch preparation videos like this one, but I actually recommend watching some videos from people being super busy, a week in the life, a week of me studying, a week of stressful exams, a video that takes you back to that time and place when you're at university, you're stressed, but you're also having fun. Another thing you can do is 
go and visit your campus, take in all the fields, look at all the beautiful buildings. You probably haven't been to campus in a long time. Also, when you go through your module curriculum, you can find something that you're super interested in or that you're looking forward to be learning about. Start learning about it already, watch a YouTube video about it. Maybe there's an assessment that you're super excited about. If you're a returning student, you can also go back to your pictures on your phone, on your archive stories, your weekends in the library and studying at sunset. And finally, you can go back to school shopping or me and my mom would always go back to school shopping and it would get me so excited to the new school year. So if you haven't gotten what you need for the new school year already, then that's definitely a good way to get excited. And that's it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you jotted down a few things that you're going to be doing before school starts. And yeah, looking forward to seeing you guys in the first week of school, um, which is next week. So you'll be seeing that video sometime in the next couple of weeks. Happy back to school season. Bye, guys. Mm -hmm.